Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Okay, and it's uh, 19 before 5 o'clock. Mary, have you got your skillets and all of the things together you want to take? Yes, I have them all packed now. I'm sure you leave what belongs in the experimental kitchen. They didn't have anything before I came here. <laughs> oh, I thought they had it fairly have, well uh, equipped. No, it's all my equipment. Okay. No, they had nothing, even just a, just a window. I remember one time we dropped in on you in, in your experimental kitchen. Yeah. I don't know if you remember the incident. We have it on tape if you'd like to hear it. Oh, it, I hate to hear myself bring on back tape. A, I think you had a sore throat that I day. never sound like I think I sound. No, you going to play it now? Listen to this, yeah. I'm uh, out in the hall outside Studio 2 with the long microphone lead, and we're heading toward the experimental kitchen, which is... Not up, too far down the hall up here. Up 15, 15 feet, I'd feet, say. say. Get a little echo. That's a long hall. Yeah. We're going to look in on Mary Magoon as she prepares our buffet table, which we rolled in about 5 o'clock. Right through here, I think. Hi, Mary. Oh, hello. Oh, well, let me turn the TV Us, on. Bob and Ray. You had the TV on? I'm uh, watching a uh, soap opera on television. I do that a lot when I'm out here in the experimental kitchen. Wow. Uh, you see, uh, we thought all we'd kinds of trouble in that family. Uh, all kinds of trouble. Yeah. We wanted to find out uh, what you're preparing for the buffet table. Well, we have the... Uh, the roast beef and the ham. Mm, and this good. is the cake I'm uh, just frosting now. Oh, boy, chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate uh, devil's food cake, is that? And with uh, double Dutch icing on it, or oh, frosting, oh, whichever you want. Boy. It's real chocolate. What do you, uh, we want to get a little in-depth uh, information from you. Yeah. What do you enjoy preparing most? Any Anything that's a favorite of yours down here? Well, I like, of course, uh, sauces of my specialty. Roux? Well, uh, that's the basis of a lot of sauces. Uh, Bordelais sauce, of course. You have to have a stock pot to make that. Yeah, sure. But, uh, no, I wouldn't say I have anything special I like to do. Uh, would you like I some noticed, wine? Yes, I know you use a lot of that uh, in the cooking down here. Yes, that... yes. You lose, uh, I was going to say lose, you use a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> have too much and you do. Uh, you use a lot of wine in my cooking, well, yes. Uh, all of the people, of course, in the studio always look forward to the moment the table is... Is a well, we'll be along suddenly. Uh, That's a pretty flower display you have there in the in the center of it today, too. Isn't it? And they're all phony flowers. Don't they look real? They look very real. They, they yeah. Plastic flowers have gotten yes, better and better over the years. You can't tell them from the real thing, and all you have to do is dust them or rinse them under a hot faucet, sure. hot water faucet. To Might to mention, too, how, how well-equipped this experimental kitchen is. The WOR has gone to no expense to make this a uh, place where you can be happy to. Uh, we have all the things you need. We have good, heavy-duty uh, dishwashers and ovens and uh, refrigeration and things like that. It's really nice. Right. Now, is, there anything, out. is there anything else that I can help you with? No, now? we're going to have to leave the kitchen right now. It's ten minutes of five and go back to the studio where I think they're just ready to send About it to five Fred. after five, we should be up there with all the food to oh, put out on the table. Very good. Yeah, lots of folks have asked us, uh, does Carmine have a last name? He certainly does. It's Carmine Sayer, and uh, he's been a good friend of ours during our three years here at WOR. Certainly has. He's dropped in frequently. In fact, one of the first places he visited when he returned from his vacation one, uh, one of the years uh, was our studio, and we had this conversation with him. Hi, Bob Bray. I'm back. Hey! Well, it's good to see you, Carmine. We missed you. Did you have a good time? A good vacation? It was a good vacation. Yeah. Would you like to hear what I did? Sure, sure would. We know you went to Europe, uh, but that's about all, so fill us in. First, I flew to Ireland to mm -hmm. visit my relatives. Right. Yeah. Then I hitchhiked to Duisburg, Germany. Yeah. And had some Wiener schnickels. Yeah. <laughs> and then I hopped a freight to High Singling, Finland. And then I walked to Madagascar, France, to spend some time with a friend. Mm -hmm. And then I flew back to the Bronx. Yeah. The last few days of my vacation, I took the subway to Coney Island, where I met Kent Leinberger and Neil. Yeah. And that was the end of the vacation. Uh, that was a sh fast one with plenty packed in, huh? Yeah, a lot of fun, I guess, though, huh? And uh, did you go to the beach or anything, or...? Bob Ray, yeah. they were great. Who? You should have seen them on the beach doing calisthenics. What, girls? Kent and With Neil. With Bob oh, and Lace sweatshirts oh. on. <laughs> oh. 
Well, what were they doing? Uh, what kind of calisthenics? They were falling over each other. They couldn't even stand up. Uh-oh. <laughs> they would keep falling down. It certainly was something to see. Well, I can imagine. I'm, I'm afraid that uh, when Neil and, uh, and Kent get together on a trip to the beach, you got to l- expect trouble. Fireworks. In, in hot weather like this. Yeah, too. right. Well, it's good to have you back, uh, Carmine, and... Uh, we missed you, we believe missed me. You. Thanks, Bob and Ray. As they would say in French, adios. And we're really going to miss Carmine, that's for sure. He was always a good friend of ours. always had lots of fun with him. And uh, he enjoyed it, too. Okay, now here on the phone we have Dr. Bob Harris, WOR staff meteorologist, to tell us about the weekend weather and uh, other important things. Of course, we have a big derby tomorrow, too. What's it look like, Dr. Bob? Well, Bob and Ray, I'm afraid I just can't accommodate anybody. We're going to pick up some rain. Our WOR forecast is calling for mostly clear weather, though, tonight for the folks who have evening plans. And tomorrow we'll wake up to a very gray Saturday here in the New York area. And it'll be windy, wet, and cool on Sunday with that storm system right on top of us. Uh, More rain on Sunday, perhaps ending during the afternoon, and a clearing trend after that, but not before the whole weekend, basically, will be engulfed in wet weather. And it's going to rain in Louisville, too. The Kentucky Derby will... uh, certainly have to contend with uh, a good deal of shower activity. And Bob Ray, I just want to wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and to just take the opportunity to thank you for being so nice to me every Friday afternoon here at this post. Okay, Bob, thank you. It's been a joy to work with you, and uh, good luck to you, too. Thanks, thank Bob. you. So long, Bob. So long. Come on and go to Puerto Rico for the Lelo Light Festival. That word from the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. One time when Dr. Bob wasn't with us, I don't know whether he was on vacation or what, but uh, Webley Webster sat in and did that uh, weather for us. Yes. And it uh, proves that uh, you need a real <laughs> meteorologist when it comes to weather. Let's uh, play that tape of Mr. Webster now as he uh, filled in for uh, Dr. Bob Harris. But I do have the estimable uh, Webley Webster on the phone now. And, Webb, you uh, understand you're kind of filling in for Dr. Bob Harris, the vacationing Dr. Bob Harris today, huh? Hello, Bob and Ray. How are you, wonderful audience? Uh, They're just great. They're fine. And uh, everybody here in the studio wants to be remembered to you. Fine. You're there at the weather station, I understand. Yes, I am. I've been pouring over all the uh, the weather machines I have in here, and I'm all set to give it to you for all the right. weekend. All right, go right ahead. You got okay, all the time Chesapeake in Bay, North to Point Lookout, and Lower Potomac. You'll have your northeasterly winds 5 to 15 knots this afternoon and tonight. And then for Chesapeake Bay, South to Point Lookout, northeasterly winds uh, 5 to 15 knots this afternoon and tonight, and be coming northeast. Does this have something to do with our New York weather web? I imagine you're leading up to how that will tie in with what we're going to have, right? The uh, afternoon temperatures are just coming in here at the uh, weather office now. Acapulco, it's clear, 88 degrees. In the Barbados, it's cloudy, 81. In uh, Bogota, partly cloudy. I don't have a high on that, but I have a low of 54 degrees above right and uh, Freeport, partly cloudy, 82. Uh, Havana, partly cloudy, 82. For Kingston, it's clear, 91, all right degrees. Hello, Webb. Yeah. Uh, does this all have a bearing on what we can look forward to this weekend? Because that's what Dr. Bob tells us. You know, what's going on in uh, New York. He does it his way, and I do it my way. You send me down here to do it, let me do it. All right, young man, go ahead. Mexico City, there's a haze. And it's 70 degrees. Moving along to the Delaware Bay. Oh, it's, uh, come on, Wendt. Wendt Eastley in the Delaware Bay. Or Delaware, Delaware, hello. Yes, I'm Delaware right. Bay, Eastley 5 to 15 knots this afternoon. Uh, the weather will be periods of snow ending over the Delaware Bay today. Cloudy tonight. Listen, Webb, excuse me, now just then. a minute. Just a minute, Webb. Oh, hello there. How uh, are you wonderful listeners? Oh, they're Ray. just great. And now I guess you've got things worked out, so we'll get a little bit of weather that uh, pertains more to okay. our area. For Western Pennsylvania, you'll have your mostly cloudy this afternoon and tonight with a chance of snow flurries out that way. A few better. random temperature readings. Amsterdam at 1 o'clock was 52 degrees and cloudy. 
In New Copenhagen, at 1 o'clock, it was 41 degrees, and we had fog in Copenhagen. We did. I don't know whether people in really Moscow, want to hear this. At, at 3 o'clock, it was 23 degrees and clear. And uh, in, uh, let me see. Anything around Connecticut or... Oh, yeah, I have that. Uh, Winnipeg, sunny, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, we had a low of 15, a high of 15 and a low of zero. Uh-huh. In your Halifax, it was sunny, and uh, we had a high of uh, 15 and a low of 5, I believe. I can't quite make this out. Okay, do you want to <clears throat> sign off with Dr. Bob Harris as usual? Uh, goodbye. <clears throat> so long until tomorrow. Okay, and the news is coming up, and then more Bob and Ray, hour two of this last program over WOR New York and RKO General Station. It's 5 o'clock. Right, John, and this is our last program uh, here at the WOR, and uh, we're reliving some uh, memories. And we're going to have one from our Bob and Ray hit parade, the uh, famous second act finale to the backstage's Broadway production of Westchester Furioso right after this. Refined, tight, well-finished, and most of all, intelligent. That's Road and Track magazine describing the Lancia Beta Sedan. Now, intelligent isn't a word often used to describe an automobile, but it's a word that characterizes Lancia. And if you compare the Lancia to an expensive European luxury car like the Mercedes or the usual mass-produced Detroit status symbol, or is that Mercedes? I never know how to pronounce that. It uh, certainly is intelligent, the intelligent alternative. Now, Lancia comes with front-wheel drive, a five-speed transmission, a fully independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, and everything else. The Lancia Beta Coupe is just $7,510 port of entry, while the C uh, sedan is substantially less. Inland transportation, dealer preparation, local taxes, and license fees are additional. Lancia, the intelligent alternative, a division of Fiat. See your local New York Metropolitan Lancia dealer. In the Bronx, see Martin Motor Sales at 2100 Jerome Avenue. In New Jersey, see Levine Motor Corporation, 325 Maple Avenue in Red Bank. <laughs> Of course, uh, in your hat from the backstage's Westchester Furioso. Over this past three years, we've taken quite a few phone calls, it seems, and this is one that stands out in our memory. And let's see if anyone uh, has a, a gripe or a question or something on their mind at the other end of our live phone lines here in Studio 2. Hello, Bob and Ray. Yes, is this the program where I call to get advice? Well, we've given advice in time. Uh, sir, we don't have uh -huh. too much time here. Go right ahead. All right, well, now, here's, uh, here's pretty much uh, my situation, uh, I have a home up here in Scarsdale, uh, free and clear. Right. And uh, I inherited several tax-free bonds, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. Now, I own a condominium. How long have you owned that house, incidentally? Uh, over 25 years. Oh, yeah, okay. You're in good shape. It's increased in value tremendously. I own a condominium in the Canary Islands, and I have a six-figure income from stock holdings. Money in the bank? Yes, I maintain about... Uh, Eighty, ninety thousand dollars in interest-bearing savings accounts. Uh, well, we got to move. What's your problem, sir? Uh, how often should I rotate my tires on my rolls? <laughs> and here's George Mead. Your friend and advisor up in the sky to tell you that the Long Island Expressway is still heavy going out to Queens and most of the way out, and all lanes are open. Now, if you uh, take the Grand Central, uh, it's not too bad uh, getting down through Q, but heavy east of that point. And if you get on this uh, Whitestone Expressway, you'll find it slow from Q all the way up towards the Whitestone uh, Bridge, and Frog's Neck is also heavy north. By the way, this is Bob and Ray, our last. Uh, program here at WOR. Yeah. Another hour to go after the 6 o'clock news with Roger Skibbenis, I guess. WOR New York and RKO General Station. You'll find a lot of arguments today about what's the best airline to fly to Europe. But you'll find no arguments about what's the best plane. It's a big, roomy 747. 
coincidentally, this spring Pan Am will be scheduling only 747s to Europe, which may end all the arguments about what's the best airline. Pan Am has daily service to Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. See a travel agent or call Pan Am for reservations.